everybody welcome back to the project and the shed and a lot of wind and rain today so I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad for us I want to do our second installment on uh, the goal setting thing we talked about making your goal simple but not easy just chomping it down so it's uh, a lot uh, smaller and able to chew and be successful at to today which is building the plan the roadmap for success how you're gonna go about that I'd like to thank all those people who sent comments and have been following us on Instagram and YouTube and the website and have signed up for free sessions. Uh, it's been great talking to y'all and uh, I, I've had a few requests to do a, a video on the actual boat itself and the project and I'll, I'll get to that uh, in down the line. I just want to get everybody started here in January on being successful and making things happen in a real positive way. So let's get right into this one today. So building the roadmap plan is, is sort of one of the hardest things that people do when they're setting goals and, and building themselves uh, up for success. And I guess the, the problem with the plan is, is that it's easy to put a bunch of stuff in there that we end up not doing or we can't do or the timing's not right or it's not flexible enough in order to allow things like weather like today to happen as I'm waiting to put bottom paint on the boat and it's uh, the weather's not agreeing with me. So to start a road map you need to know a couple things okay. If I was to drop you off in Canada where I was born and told you to find my house you'd drive around for the rest of your life never find it. You need to know at least two things. First thing is is you need to know where you're going okay so you'd need the actual address of where you were headed. Then the second thing you need to know, and this is funny because everybody goes, oh yeah, then I'd just drive straight there. No, you wouldn't. You need to know where you're at right now. You need to know where you're starting because if you don't know where you're starting, you won't know what roadmap to use. I might drop you off on the east coast of Canada and give you a, a roadmap to Vancouver, which is on the west coast. You drive around lost. Okay, so you need to know where you're going and where you're at right now. That means you have to do some serious self-assessment. Really look at yourself, your time available, your day, your skills, all those things that you're going to need to go into the goal. Doesn't mean you can't achieve the goal you've set. It means that you might have to do some work to get yourself ready, up, you know, up your skills, drop something else that you're doing to put some more time into the work, the, the, the goal that you're, you're wanting to achieve, and, and really just look at yourself and say, hey, this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do to make it happen. Okay, so figure out where you're at. And it takes time. You, you can't just go, oh, uh, this is exactly where I'm at. Really do an analysis of what you have available, how things are, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one. Second thing is, is to design the roadmap to be successful. So you sort of need to know all the little signposts or the steps back from what you want to achieve, plan backwards to where you are now, okay? And what I mean by checkpoints is those are actual milestones that you're going to pass, just like driving somewhere, you're going to pass milestones, signs, towns, so that you know you're moving in the right direction. Otherwise, you'll be off course all the time, just going along. And once in a while, you'll get it right and you'll be on the way to the goal and then you'll be off way over in left field and then way over in right field and you'll you'll never get there. So you need some exact signposts that you need to get to. You know, like a real simple example is if you're doing weight loss is you know, you'll have actual kilos or pounds that you're losing. You're looking to do a pound every 2 weeks for instance. So you know, you start out at 150, in the 2 weeks you're 149. Okay, just as a, a very simple example. So you need some milestones, measurable milestones, not imagination, not just stuck in your head, but actual milestones to get past so you know you're on track. Here's the key to road maps. Just like in real life when you're traveling around and you know you're watching your Google map or whatever map you're doing, or if you're an old paper map person and you come across some road construction and you have to take a detour. You have to be a little flexible to do that. So, you know, I used to, one of my sayings is that you, to be max flex, you have to be able to bend and turn. In order to stay on course the most, you have to be the most flexible. Not let things like weather, like today, uh, slow you down too much. Have some other things that you could be doing on your project 
that you could do on a day like today if I can't get the painting, if it doesn't warm up enough, you know? So I have to be ready to be flexible enough to keep my project going forward. I can't just stop it and take more days because I'll run out of time. I'll run out of patience, I'll run out of energy. So do try to be a lot more flexible. If you think of it this way, a boat like this, when I'm sailing on the ocean, I have a straight line drawn from where I am to where I want to be. The boat is rarely on that straight line. Even with the autopilot set on compass, it will cross that line, correct itself, get back on that line, cross over to the other side, correct itself. And so it does this little zigzag pattern the whole time, staying on the line. Now, the closer we can make those zigzags, the straighter and quicker we get to our goal. Now, to do that, we need to take daily data. It's the data, just like in your autopilot on the boat or on an airplane, it's taking in all of the compass points and the GPS knowledge and correcting it to get back on that line. But it overcorrects it a little bit and then it does it again. Now, the more accurate all that is, the tighter the zigzag, so the straighter you go. You know, but sometimes weather happens, things happen, takes you a little bit more off course. Just correct it and put it on with data. So you'll correct back to where you want to go to make sure that you're getting there as quickly as possible. Now, the more dedicated, the more, you know, go, go, go you are to get this goal, the tighter you'll make that. You know, you'll, you'll really get it so that you're not off that line very much, but you always will be off the line a little bit. Don't panic. Just correct it back on, get in the general direction that you're going within your timeline, okay? Be flexible, max flex. So, build the plan. Remember, your goal, three to six months, maybe a year if you're really stretching it out there, a year-long plan is really hard. It's like planning a whole journey across an entire country or a continent. It's easier to plan it to go across a province or a state or a small country leading to the next one. Okay, so it's break it into small chunks, the plan milestones to get through to get where you're going. Okay, so that's just a little short one on building the plan. Next time we're going to talk about emptying out all your preconceived notions and beliefs so that you can be a lot more successful. Again, leave comments for me book a free session, follow us on YouTube and our website and Instagram and all those other things that we've got going out there. Our goal is to reach a thousand subscribers with this little thing before our event coming up in February. Again, you'll hear more about that soon. I challenge you, step up, make it happen now. Don't be the same as you've been in the past. This is Andy and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>